Hey besties, hey besties, it's your girl Finance Muslima. Welcome, welcome. I first and foremost want to give a huge welcome to all of our new besties we have. They've been coming through. So hey, shout outs to y'all. I've been chatting with y'all in the comments, trying to get to know where you ladies are located, what businesses you have. Um, you're at the right place at the right time. Y'all know my motto, we don't chase money, we focus on impact. We have so many new besties in the group. I'm talking about, I think I was seeing um, a lot of different cities, like so many. I, I, I can't remember. I know it's a lot of different places. So if you ladies are interested in knowing where I'm at, if you don't know me or where I am located in Charlotte, North Carolina. We have ladies from Tennessee. I see Atlanta. I see Jersey. Um, a lot of different parts of Georgia. I even see Alabama. We have a lot of women in business from all over the world. I want to welcome you all and let y'all know that y'all at the right place at the right time. However, you found this group. Um, but I want to let you know that you need to leverage it. So the top two things that I see the most coming through with women coming in the group is the first one, wanting to, con no, the first one is definitely money management. The first one is money management, looking to get help with your money. Um, we had a, we have some women who are like, um, they didn't know about a lot of the, a lot of money things till later. So they're kind of like trying to play catch up and figure out things later in life going towards retirement and so forth. Um, and then we, the second group is women looking to connect with other women. So when I give you guys the welcome and I give you the the right away and I, I let you in and give you access to the group, you need to be introducing yourself. You need to be talking about business. You need to be speaking to other women. Coming through the page and scrolling and looking, yes, that's fine, but you're here for a reason. Don't waste your time. And you don't have to make it sound salesy. Hey, I'm such and such, da da da, because I want to tell you. But those of you who know my story and my journey, you need to be building network. You need to be meeting people. It's money to make on the internet, it's money to make outside. You need to be meeting people, building your business. So, what use to, is it being here if you're not going to tell people what you're doing? You're not going to meet people. Don't waste your time. So, we have a lot of amazing, amazing, really dope, talented women in the group. I'm so excited. I'm going to be talking and chatting to y'all. I know you women have questions. Y'all want to know what's, um, want to learn, whatever it is that you um, may want to learn or you feel like is your biggest concern right now, your personal situation, or anything that y'all want me to go live on, put it in the chat. Drop it in the comments and let me know. Because if as long as I know, I'll add it on to um, what I'm going to do on the weeks to come for this quarter. Any questions that you have, make sure you drop them in the chat. I'll answer them. Anything based on women in business, money, and mindset. No question is a dumb question. Let's talk about it. Um, and... I know a lot of you uh, were sending me inboxes and sending me messages on business funding. The conversation is on business funding. And y'all know how I feel about this. So I mean, before I send you to uh, one of my preferred go to for business funding, it's things I need to know because you need to be prepared and you need to be ready because they don't play no games. They be on go and they're working. Right. Uh, one of my girls um, in Philly, if your business is legally structured, if you're qualified, if you have your everything on your back end and what it takes, yes, she can get you up to a half a million dollars, million dollars in funding, depending on what it is you want to do. Not just capital to start businesses, but capital to get in real estate um, as an entrepreneur. A lot of different things. It don't have to be one set way for you to get business funding. But I ask y'all these questions because I need to know. Can a lot, I gotta be honest, y'all know I'm super transparent. Listen, if you don't have all have it all together, it's 
the money is in the back end of your business. The money is not in the skill. And I'm going to tell you that. And I didn't learn that for a long time. Right. I thought like just showing up, doing the work, you want to get all this money. The money is not in the skill. The money is on the back end because it's 2023. As long as your business is legally structured, you can leverage the crap out of it. But it needs to be legally structured. And sometimes it's things that we just don't know. And that's fine. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, leave me a message. Drop it in the comments. Um, let me know. I'll help you all the best of my ability. Um, but you have to have your ducks in a row in order to get qualified for funding. Also, too, I dropped the link for um, the webinar February the 16th. February the 16th, free webinar, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. I dropped the link for that as well. So make sure you register and have a seat. It is free. But I have a couple of different women, including myself, um, especially over on Instagram, pushing for me. Um, we have some ads running. We're pushing for 100 women in this webinar. It's going to be myself, and I'm going to have two special guests on there. So we're pushing for 100. My cap, what I want is 100. We have about, I guess, another week or so, like 10 days, nine days, but we're going to do it. So when we reach 100, it will be closing. Um, also, too, I believe on the link, those of you who um, asked me about the Mindset and Money Planner, I think the link is on the webinar link to um, get free shipping. And that's only for you guys who are in my tribe and if you, you only get free shipping. So, let me see. I'm going to go over, um, we went over income versus expenses. We went on, we went over doing your month, weekly, monthly budget and the layout from top to bottom. If you missed that the last two weeks, go back and watch the last two videos and then come to this one to get caught up. Or you can start this one first and then go to that one because we have a lot of new um, ladies here. But this is a really, really important one um, that we need to focus on. So give me a minute. I'm going to share it with you. I can't bring it up for y'all, but I'm going to go down it. I'm going to go down the list for y'all with it. All right, so it was in, it was income versus expenses. Then we did our budget for the month of February, which today is February the sixth. Your monthly budget should be done, and we did it. I think we did it that week prior to February coming in. I spoke on it, but I went through the layout with you guys with that last week. So if you didn't do yours, go back or even make time to get that done for real. It's very, very important. Um, and that's crazy because I literally just seen a post like a little while ago of a guy saying like, you know, we wake up and, you know, we get our day started. We get out the door nothing planned we just all over the place and boom your money is gone spend 100 200 dollars right out the window why because we're not planning and preparing now every single day is not going to be like that it's not going to be planned and prepared every single day um i think it really depends on how much discipline you have and what lifestyle you live because it can be now Coming from a single woman, a single woman, um, no children at home. I live a pretty disciplined lifestyle. So for me, on a daily basis, it can happen. But I do get sidetracked as well. But then I will catch myself like, and that's what we're supposed to do. I feel like as long as you know 
when you're when you're falling off it's like when you lose your momentum after you've been working out it's hard, hard to get that momentum back but when you recognize it and you're like dang i've been slacking that right there is powerful because at least you know you hold it that's like holding yourself accountable so get back in the game so when i select or when i have my time i push myself i gotta push myself as well get back in the game that's why we talk about that too as well the importance of having you know what i mean quality friends in your circle quality people having that balance in your circle you know what i mean you know we have to have the accountability if you're not able to hold your i just gained a new client last week literally on accountability right her shop does probably about eight to nine thousand dollars in like two weeks right with her and somebody else her issue is not making money it's money management and accountability so depending on where you're at and the reason that accountability is hard for a person who already have the cash flow coming in is because we just know to do what we know how to do to make money right but when you don't have a lot of accountability around you your environment is a bunch of people pulling you other ways and it's hard for you to stay focused where are you positioning yourself you know all these type of things like we, you have to have discipline and that's okay if you can't hold yourself accountable you have to learn discipline and a lot of times that's going to mean learning how to be by yourself it's okay to be by yourself <laughs> i'm telling you i used to think it was weird <laughs> but now i love it right because you're i i'm in control i can do what i want to do when i want to do right so accountability is huge um you know your circle of friends and people that you hang around with especially the people that you be around the most is super important because their lifestyle is going to have the influence on you right so it's really really important if you know that you're a procrastinator and you tend to put things off you can't stay you have a hard time staying focused you don't hold yourself accountable it's everybody fault that everything is wrong with you then you definitely have to self-evaluate because that's mindset when you first and foremost but then secondly also to the huge piece of it which i see every single day and talking to different women is who we are positioning ourselves around and a lot of times it's just not a lie um i know um the new ladies that we have in the group um some of them i know some of them a lot of the new ones that's coming through i don't know they're from all over the world i don't know you ladies um i'm glad to have you here i want to get to know y'all drop some um comments or some questions for me in the chat um and i definitely answer them um because this conversation came up um, when we was on IG Live and somebody was saying, um, you know, about that, that hard no, like about saying no. Like, yes, it's okay to say no. I don't know where everybody's from or what your background pertains to or what you're currently dealing with in the moment. But I'm going to tell you, mindset is going to be first and foremost, right? If you're lacking... Um, if, if your goal was ten thousand dollars a month and you lack in sales you lack in clients you may feel like you lack in motivation you may feel like you lack in support you may feel like you need more money to buy products or you know invest in yourself in marketing whatever the case may be it's going to go back to mindset because there's always a way to figure out how to get something done but you have to be um first and foremost willing to admit that you just don't know the way you have been trying to do it is not working and it's okay that you just don't know we talked about this um on live on facebook my first and foremost piece of advice is going to always be hire a coach when i do consultations and um you may not be physically in a place where you can afford to pay for coaching with me or one-on-one -on -one, or and get in our uh, membership then you are going to have to get on these lives when i share my screen and really do the in-depth trainings and you're going to have to get the information and apply it and do it yourself 
And sometimes that may mean maybe till 10, 11 o'clock at night, whatever the case may be, you got to do what you got to do. So it's going to be either you got time or you got money, basically. My first thing is going to always say, especially in business, especially, you know, not just new women in business. You could be seasoned in business and still need a coach. Right. That's going to be my top thing is to hire a coach. Drop me some um, <laughs> some questions and comments in the chat. I'm going to respond back to you it's money monday um yesterday was self-care sunday if you did not get your goals written out and write you out a budget get on it tonight i promise you it takes 15 minutes we already know off top of our mind what bills we pay how much we need what we doing every you, you should just know that right off the top but it's a power that comes with writing it down write it down get it done tonight um if any Whatever help you ladies need um, or whatever direction you're headed into, whatever resource you feel that you need personally, um, drop it in the comments and I'll respond to y'all and make sure that you um, secure your seat for the webinar on 216. 216, make sure you secure your seat the webinar. If you know anybody you feel need to be on and they're not in this group, let me know and send me a DM. 